Yo, 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 it's your boy Lime Out from the motherfucking building. Yo, 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 it's your boy Lime Out from the motherfucking building. And today is Tuesday. And today is Mukbang Day. <laughs> OG Loud Gang Crew. Y'all know I usually do Mukbangs on Wednesdays. But I told you I'm doing some shit different, you know. I'm just posting all over, so you just never know when a nigga gonna come, come through. You just never know. Today I'm going to be eating Wingstop. Leftover Wingstop, because we had it like two nights ago. And, uh... Yeah, I still had some. I'm like, you know what? Ain't nobody here. Let me go ahead and uh, mukbang this shit. Finish it out. So I got some wings. We don't have no sides. Well, I kind of wanted potato salad, but then again, I didn't. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just have some wings. So this is what we got going on here. And we got some Baja Blast. You can never go wrong with a Baja Blast. It's the best Mountain Dew there is. I mean, regular Mountain Dew is cool and everything. And Code Red, it's, it's a hype. But it ain't no Baja Blast. So... There we go. But yeah, this is what we got, y'all. We ended up getting some lemon pepper, some Parmesan, I think it was Parmesan wings. And then uh, I think they got some Hawaiian. I didn't eat none of that shit. The main ones I like is barbecue and lemon pepper. Got one lemon pepper here, the rest is barbecue. So I got four barbecues and one lemon pepper because niggas ended up eating some of my lemon pepper. I'm like, damn, y'all don't even eat this shit. Why did y'all eat my lemon peppers? But Hey, it is what it is. That's what happens when you live with people. And you put leftovers in a fridge that you gotta share with everybody. That's what happens. But uh, let's just tap in, y'all. Mm. Mm. People be sleeping on lemon pepper. They be saying, oh, lemon pepper, eh, it's just dry and all that. I like it. I like it. It's got that, it's got that lemon pepper seasoning that just brings out that, um, it just brings that taste for chicken wings, if you ask me. I, I love it. I love it. And the crazy shit about it is, my grandmother was the one that turned me on the um, lemon peppers. She the one that turned me into the uh, lemon pepper wings. But she don't eat them no more. She don't eat them no more. How you gonna introduce some shit to a nigga and you just stop eating this shit? Huh. Was that a nice holiday? I don't know. But, um. Yeah. I don't understand that. Why do people introduce people to new food, but then they stop eating the shit? Like, you the reason I started eating it. What? That's weird to me. I hope it's not slanted sideways because that's how it's looking to me. I got a new um, tripod stand because I didn't really like the ring light one. It was just too weird looking. So if it's slanted a little bit, I apologize. Um, I still gotta make little tweaks to make it look good. So y'all let me know in the comments. If Is it good? Give me a thumbs up. If it's not, give me a thumbs down. Sorry, I'll, I'll have that shit together by the next video. But, um, what else should I talk about? Mmm. I'm trying to think right now while I'm eating, what do I need to address? Oh, yeah. So, 
I'm gonna think about this for a second. And I still have to see. But um y'all comment down below and tell me what do you guys think about me showing you guys old spots that I used to stay in. Like I'm talking about like we go back in the day, back in the day. You know, where I like would you guys like me to fly out to my birthplace, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma? Would you guys want to see my old house and even my old grandparents' house? Old schools? And then if we come back out here, would you guys want to see the places I stayed at before I came to Litchfield Park because I stayed on the other side of town. I stayed in like Cane Creek, Paradise Valley area. If you guys don't know where, if you don't y'all that live in Arizona, if y'all stay in that area or you know where that area is, you know what I'm talking about. That's where I stayed when I first moved out here in the state of Arizona. Would you guys want to see our old apartment and our old townhouses out here in the school? that I went to and other school that I went to for before and after school, um, day camps, after school programs. Like, would you guys like to see tours of that shit? I probably, probably can't, obviously can't go inside, but um, would you guys like to see that? And then I tell stories because every location from schools to houses that I've stayed in has a backstory too. So would you guys want to see that? Kind of get to know me a little bit better? Comment down below. Because I'm really thinking about doing it. I just want to see how I'm going to go about doing it. And I would obviously need a um, cameraman for that. Or a camera woman. We don't discriminate. But I would need somebody to film it for me, obviously. But, uh... What do y'all think? Would you guys want to see that? Would you guys want to get to know me a little bit better? I don't mind sharing my backstory. I really don't. Y'all see these story times that I used to do and I'm going to be doing soon. Y'all know. I don't, I'm not shy when it comes to my life you know, experience in schools and uh, family life. I'm not shy. I could give two shits about what a motherfucker gonna say about me. I'm not shy to share my um, story, my upbringing, all of that. I'm not shy. So if you guys wanna know, whatever y what y'all wanna know, I'll tell y'all. What y'all wanna see, I'll show you. Because To me, and this is my opinion, this is my opinion. I feel like it's important to get to know your, um, the creator you're viewing. Whether it's personally, personality wise, upbringing, you know, it doesn't matter. I just feel like it's important to, um, for the fans to get to know you better. Because if you're gonna be on here, or if I'm gonna be on here creating, entertaining y'all, I think it's fair for y'all to get to know the loudmouth and understand what makes the loudmouth the loudmouth. Or other creators. What makes that creator that creator? That that's just my thinking of it, but y'all let me know.
you know, even even if these wings are leftovers, they're still fire. I love wing stock. They never disappoint. Oh, I don't know if y'all saw those y'all that don't follow me on TikTok. I got this new shirt as well as the other winter shirts that I got in there. That was back in, um, I think, December. Yep, I got this one. I love this one. It's called God Over Everything. Got them from Timu. I just purchased um, four new outfits for the summer. I love, Tim I love Timu because for, for many reasons, they're cheap. They're cheap and they got good deals on there. Now, as far as jewelry is concerned, would I really buy my jewelry from there? Eh, if I'm trying to rock some like real, real shit, nah, I wouldn't go to Timu because I don't believe that your jewelries are real. I don't know because I hear people saying it's fake and it might be. I don't know because they're so cheap. I don't know. But as far as clothing, shoes, electronics and stuff like that oh most definitely yeah where do you think i got the fucking tripod that's standing right here where do y'all think i got that from they got good deals i love it you know and their outfits I've, I've never had a problem with any of the outfits i've got i love it four hours four outfits i just got alone all together in total only cost me $40 versus me going to the mall and purchasing an outfit that's going to end up costing me like $70, $80 per outfit. I don't motherfucker, I only get two outfits at the mall. If I, if I was to go to the mall and get an outfit, I'd probably just get one or two. Because everything's so expensive at the mall versus, you know, it's like, why would I go to the mall where it's so expensive where I can, versus I can just go to Timu or AliExpress, you know, these type, all these websites that's got cheap, good deals and, uh, and dope ass outfits. The outfits ain't even shit. They're, they're hella cool. And inspirational at that. Like most of the outfits I got from Timu, it's got like a motivational message on it. And I fuck with it. And it fits me good too. They don't they don't they make sure that you're getting the right size too. I've only had to send back one the only outfits I've had to ever sent back, and it wasn't even an outfit, it was just pants, was them uh, stacked jeans. I had to send those back because the size that I got, I ended up getting a 33, and that was just too big for me. That was just too big for me, so I was like, oh no, I have to send it back. That was the only time I've ever had to send some shit back. But other than that, I've not had a problem with Timu yet. And that was my fault. That was just me miss. <clears throat> that was just me picking the wrong size. That was not no effect on them at all. They made sure to give me a refund and everything. I was cool. What the hell was that? Anyway, yeah. And as far as electronics, electronics, they, you know, they're not that bad. I've not gotten, I haven't gotten a tablet or a monitor yet, but I've gotten like smaller stuff like speakers. I got a speaker in there that still work. I got headphones, uh, 
Yeah, I got uh, Bluetooth earpods. I mean, earpods, they still work. Uh, what else do I got? Headset that works. I got a, um, a podcast mic from there that's working perfectly good. I got an HDMI converter too. What else? Um, I got small little podcast mics that I've yet to use yet. Um, what else? Uh, that's all that I can think of at the moment. But I think I've gotten some more um, electronic stuff as well. But yeah. I don't, mm. I don't know. I love it. I definitely recommend y'all check it out. And they got games on there too that you can win free gifts if you don't want to pay shit. I play um this game called Fishland all the time. Winning free gifts. Ain't got to pay shit. Free is my language. If it's free, oh hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, I will I will tell you guys so. If you guys play the um games to win free items, it can take a little bit of a while, maybe a month or two. Because well, it depends. If you're able to send invites and everybody accept your invite, that'll speed up the time. And, you know, you won't take too long on it. But if you're not sending friend requests or invites for new users, well, then it's going to take a minute. And for me, it's taking a minute. And it's fine. You know, I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a hurry. I don't need, need the item that I'm trying to purchase or get for free. If there's an item I need right away, right away, then I won't, I won't play the game because I know the route that I'm going, it's going to take a minute. So if you're trying to get something right away like that, then I would just buy it. But if you don't need it right away and you're willing to take your time, then hey, do what you got to do. But there's that. There is farmland as well. It's the same thing as fish land. Um, there's also, you can also win cash, I believe. I have yet to win any cash on Timu, so I don't know what the process of that is. Y'all would have to find that out yourselves because I haven't yet to do it. But if I do, I will let y'all know. Oh, shit, I ain't been drinking. Damn, I'm up here talking shit and I haven't even drank my bottle as fuck. Mm. Oh, you can't go wrong with no Baja Blast. Bam. You can't go wrong with no Baja Blast, I'm telling you. <clears throat> why do I do this? I don't know why, but every time like I'm drinking, it's like I'm like my finger has a tendency of going up for some reason. If it's not this or it's this one going up, like you're drinking tea or some shit. I don't know what that's about. I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing that.
that shit's weird. And y'all probably wondering, Lamont, why are you picking the chicken off just like that? Unlike you fast ass eaters, I like to take my time, my sweet time, and actually enjoy my shit. So leave me alone. I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> I like to enjoy my shit, you know. Um, sometimes, if I'm not if I'm not mukbanging with y'all, I'll have my computer right here watching some shit and just take my time eating. You know, people want to rush and eat like rah, 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 rah. no. Enjoy the food that you're eating. I don't care if you've had it before. I don't care how many times you have it. Enjoy your meal. Stop rushing. Cause then you're gonna fuck around and choke. I learned to stop doing that because me and my brother, because my mom said my brother do it too, um, we have tendencies of chewing fast, like, you know, chewing so fast and stuff like that. I've almost choked many a times. I've almost choked because of how fast I'm chewing. And, you know, Slowly but surely, I'm trying to get out of doing that. You just chew slow. I wonder how do y'all, some of y'all that just take a wing and do it like this and then suck it out and then you just got the bone. How the fuck y'all do that shit? How y'all do that shit? Because I tried it and I, mm -mm, that shit fucking choked me. And that shit don't look right. I'm just saying, it don't look right. Those y'all that do that, y'all can have that shit. <laughs> y'all can have that shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bummer. Take one good swig before I get up out of here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so refreshing. Mm, 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 mm. Well. That's it, y'all. Y'all come down below and tell me what you guys' favorite flavor of Wingstop did y'all like. Do you guys go for 
the lemon pepper? Do you go for the barbecue? Do you go for the uh, Cajun? Do you go for the, I think, Parmesan? Do you go for the Hawaiian? Do you go for the, um, do they have a teriyaki flavor? I don't know. Do you go for the buffalo? Do you go for the hot wings? I mean, let me know what y'all favorite flavor that y'all like on your wings at Wingstop. And do you like your wings bone-in or boneless? I go for bone-in, cause bone-in, that just makes an authentic wink, if you ask me. Boneless, that's, that to me is not a wing. That's fucking chicken dinners, if you ask me, cause you're not, you're just um, 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 inviting. You know, there's no bone that you can give to your dogs. I don't know. That's just me. But uh yeah. Shout out to those that um on IG that suggested to do a mukbang sometime this week because I gave it an option on what I should do. I've so far done reactions, mukbangs. I wanna do a challenge and I wanna do a prank. But those I kinda wanna do with somebody. So one of my friends let me know if y'all want to do a prank with me or you guys want to do, excuse me, or do you guys want to do a challenge? Let me know. Come down below, hit DM me, hit me up. Y'all know how to, y'all know how to reach me. I don't have to tell y'all how to reach me because y'all, y'all already know how to reach me. But, uh, yeah, let me know. And on that note, I am gone. What I'm going to need y'all to do, I got some in my team. Probably do. I got a boss. Anyways, what I need y'all to do is I need y'all to like, I need y'all to comment, and I need y'all to subscribe. Hit that bell for notification for all the motherfucking bangers, and I shall see y'all in the next one. Loud gang all day.